Welcome back to John's Films. Edward Hitton let me have some pretty good feedback on the last video. He said the color grading mechanism or structure that I took was subpar, and I appreciated it because it gave me something to go look into. So, checked into it, found some books, found some classes, and now I'm recreating a look called the bleach bypass look. To create the bleach bypass look, I'm going to use this footage I shot on a DJI Osmo action camera. So you gotta know, it doesn't have the most data in the world for me to work with, but it's gonna provide a good solid frame that I can use to be able to work in both mids and darks as I add more contrast or retain some of the silver highlighting that I wanna show to match the look. To get started, I'm gonna prep my original frame. The colors are pretty well balanced here, and I can see that as I jump over to my parade waveform, but I've got too much contrast throughout the image. So I'll take my contrast and drop it down maybe 20%. There we go, I've desaturated everything on purpose. And I'm also going to add just a little bit of warmth to it so that when it comes out, it still retains a lifelike appearance. We'll call this my prep node. And I'll hit Alt-S to add another node. This is where I'm gonna put some contrast back into it. Now, why did I take contrast out if I wanna just put it right back in? Well, I'm going to selectively add the contrast into different areas of the footage, namely the lift, and the gain. So I pull the lift down pretty hard, pull the gain up a touch, and this really separates the contrast while leaving the midtones to their own normal natural distribution. Next up, I'm going to select my midtones so that I can give them a bit more life compared to a lot of the darks and the highs, which, if you really think about it, shadows are not as saturated as some of the middle grounds, and neither are the bright, bright white glares. So I'm going to reduce some of the saturation around those. But first to do that, I'm going to use my HSL qualifiers. You'll see Hue Saturation Illuminates by clicking on the eyedropper here and then coming up into my qualifier. If it's not turned on, it'll be right there on the left. And selecting the skin tones, which I know are in the middle. There we go. It's a pretty good representation. And I'm going to right-click in my node tree to add a node and add an outside node. You can see that this adding an outside node adds the exact opposite selection qualifier. And now I know I can color treat the entire image separated into my midtones and into everything else, the highs and the lows. Now, I'm going to take the midtones and I'm going to add some saturation in, into them. Maybe a touch of warmth in the gain, just the edge of them there. And then we're going to come back over here and we're going to desaturate everything that we've got. Pretty good so that it really is looking washed out, but you can still identify the colors. Note label, this will be the mids. And this will be the low and high. So let's take a look at what this is looking like now. Looks a little flushed up here. So I'm not sure I'm a fan of the skin tones that we've got going on here. Let's see what it looks like. I do like how he's got separation off the back, but he's looking pretty orangey. So what we can do is dial back that saturation a touch, or we can adjust the tone of it. I'm going to pull back that saturation just a touch. There we go. And pull the tone of the gain back down a touch. Let's see what we got. So that looks a little bit better and really mirrors a lot of that. Still got the silvers, but still retains. Um, this probably has a little bit too much color in my mids compared to what a true bleach bypass might have. But I like it because it gives me a little bit of a focus on him without having to, say, blur the background with a lens that obviously won't go on that action camera. Or uh, completely trying to build, build some vignette with blurring behind it. Last thing I can do is check, and we're close to the skin tone indicator line. I'm going to take those mids and just tweak them oh so slightly so that I can maybe get a little bit more natural look against the background still being washed out. All right, so that's going to be my bleach bypass look. Um, it's one of the first looks that I'm trying to recreate as I'm going through and learning how to color grade and appropriately separate my nodes. You can see here we are on the right with the final look intact, and here we are on the left with the original footage. Well, there it is. That's the bleach bypass look. I do appreciate the feedback, so let me know below what you think of it. If it looks good, if it looks bad, if you've seen it done different ways, or you know how to do it better, let me know. Hit a like. If you hit a dislike, please let me know why. I'll be sure to take that into account as I make future videos. Either way, you should definitely subscribe. I like making these and I enjoy helping people. So let me know how I can help you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.